construction equipment is clearing the way for another section of Spokane's North-South Freeway. Excavators are knocking down homes along Interstate 90 to make way for the new interchange. KXY 4's Eric Loney is there live. Eric, we understand about 40 homes will be cleared in the next couple of months. Yeah, this is one of them. Yesterday it was a house, and you can see today is just a big giant pile of rubble. And someday, no one knows exactly when, the new, or at least the interchange of the North-South Freeway will run right over the top of us. As you said, 40 houses in this neighborhood, in this East Central neighborhood, will be demolished in the next couple of months. A total of about 400 houses will be cleared to make way for the new I-90 North-South Freeway interchange. The state has started clearing homes on the north side, and then will move to taking out homes on the south side of the highway. Now, it doesn't have the money to build this portion of the project yet, but it does have the money to clear the right-of-way. We made a commitment to the neighborhood a number of years ago that when we got right-of-way funding that we would work in that area to acquire those homes, primarily so those people could move on with their lives and know what the disposition of that area would be. The demolition contractor is the one that decides what happens to the homes that are cleared. Ones in decent condition are moved to new locations. The others are salvaged for metal or fixtures and then destroyed. The company doing this work, DMSL Construction, tells us it is actually recycling the wood from these homes, separating the nails and the metal and the wood, and then recycling those parts. They told us about 90% of these homes they'll attempt to recycle. Now, because of the lack of funding, no one knows when this portion of the north-south freeway will be completed. But the next portion that is going to be completed is way up north where it connects to 395. That's slated to be completed next. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News. Eric.